Hello guys, very quick video for you today, Barry from Copper vs Glass. Have you ever used Google Chrome and found that it goes really really slow when playing back full screen video and you think, hold on, my laptop should be able to handle this? I've got a 15 inch Retina Mac and it stutters at playing full screen video. How is that right? Turns out it's something to do with Chrome specifically as you'll notice it probably doesn't do it in any other browser, but there's a very simple way to fix it. You'll notice that if you're watching something like full screen videos like Netflix, something like YouTube, or something like game trailers which is heavily flash based, you can view these videos at normal size on the page and it'll be fine, but as soon as you switch to full screen, it will stutter and stop. It's a very quick fix for this. Open up a new tab in your browser and you're going to go to chrome colon forward slash forward slash plugins and you'll be presented with a list of plugins that is currently installed in Chrome and this is just simply to help Chrome uh, decode web media. You're going to go ahead in the top right hand corner here and click details to expand all of these so we can have a look inside them and what they're to deal with. We're going to scroll down until we get to the Adobe Flash player. Now that's right, this issue is caused by predominantly Flash, so we're going to be disabling a certain feature to make our full screen videos a much better experience. You'll see you've got two types of Flash players. You've got one that's called the Pepper Flash player, and you've just got one that's simply the Flash player. We're going to disable the top one, which is the Pepper Flash player. You notice it will grey out and it will now be disabled. All you need to do is just simply restart your browser and go back to any videos you're watching, enable full screen mode and you'll find that the stuttering is now gone and you can enjoy full screen video with no processing issues. I can't tell you why this happens, I've read on several forums it's probably a Chrome specific issue as it does only affect Chrome, something to do with hardware acceleration issues, but hey, it fixes it. So hopefully you'll be enjoying Chrome a lot more now if you're having these issues, I certainly did. This is Barry from Copper vs Glass and I'll catch you guys later.